Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here and today I have a little crafty haul for you. Unfortunately, one of my favourite scrapbooking craft shops that's very close to home is closing down as the lady who owns it wants to retire and obviously she could not find someone to purchase her shop. So she's having a bit of a closing down sale and I decided to go and see if I could find some pretty things to add to my stash. Um, needless to say, I found a few things. So the first thing I got was some beautiful papers to add to my collection. And everything was 20% off. Some things were 50% off. But a lot of the individual sheets were a dollar each. So other than two of these, the top two, they were all only a dollar each. So I'll just see, can I fit this in just about there? But I bought this beautiful uh, Minte homemade. Have a look at some of the images on this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of a little bit vintage, but not 100%, but beautiful colours. And then there's beautiful frames on the back. Now that I saw, I didn't even see the back when I purchased this. And if I had, I would have definitely bought two of these so that I could use all the frames that are on that side and all the gorgeous images that are on that one. But never mind, that's okay. Then I got this gorgeous Wonderlust sheet full of beautiful travel things. Um, not that I can travel anywhere at the moment because we're well and truly locked down in this country, but the day will come that I can. And it's also got some fabulous frames on the back. Then I grabbed this one and didn't realise I actually grabbed two of them. Um, gorgeous sewing pattern sheet. And I am going to do a sewing themed junk journal one of these days. So even though I wasn't planning on, yeah, see, don't like that background at all, but that's fine. Um, I'm actually quite happy I've got two now because it might be handy for the front and the back of that journal when I get around to doing it. Couldn't resist this gorgeous Christmas cut apart. It doesn't matter that it's probably last year's Christmas, because honestly, Christmas things don't really change. And oh, I made the mistake of trying to do December daily last year, all in pastels, and I decided it wasn't for me. I definitely prefer the traditional colours, so I had to grab that one. Yes, that's just white on the back. Loved this one. I love these beautiful beetles and lovely grey blue coloured um, cut aparts on that sheet. So I had to grab that one. Loved the beautiful colours on this one. All very soft watercolours. And um, I think I've got a bit of fussy cutting to do, haven't I? But also these beautiful tags down the bottom here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, grabbed two of the Christmas ones because one's not enough. And look, a dollar a sheet, why not? Then this beautiful sheet. Have a look at this. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this is actually pink foil. Look how gorgeous that is. And then there's also a beautiful Paris map on the back, which I really love. So couldn't leave that one there. Then this one here looks like Moroccan tiles, but don't know if it'll pick up on the camera, but the, this is actually all gold foiling. So loved that one. And beautiful butterflies on the back. Again, this one here has this beautiful pink foiling on it. Very vintage, but so very pretty. And then a lovely marble effect on the back. This one I know is an old sheet, but I've had one before, used it up, so I grabbed another one. And it's sort of a modern come vintage cross of tickets, but beautiful gold, rose gold foiling on that one. Dark background, and this is another old favourite of mine. I literally just used up the last of this the other day, and I've always loved this sheet. It's actually got hollow foil. So, look, I thought, why not grab? That was the last one there, so I nabbed that. Now, then I got this gorgeous paper pack. This is um, called Gone With The Wind, 12 sheets of designer cardstock, 
and six unique double-sided cardstock. Wow, and I got this entire pack for $8.50, so it's an absolute bargain. So I have no idea what it really looks like, but how about we find out? You can always cut those up. Oh, wow. Oh, this is very pretty. And this is a lovely thick cardstock. A little bit of a clock and pretty flowers. Oh, I like that. Oh, and some nice script on the back. So you get two of those sheets. Oh, look at this beautiful one. Oh, that is so pretty. So obviously you get two of those. Oh, that's an interesting background. See, at least now I have one of each of these, so I can use one of each side if I want to. Oh, wow. And these are really, these are thick and lovely. I love this. So, oh, I see. This pack must be two of each of the designs. Well, I am definitely not complaining about that. Now, why will this not split? Hang on a minute. There we go. And the reverse of this one. Oh, look at that. Clocks and posts. Oh, this is very pretty. Wow, this was a bargain for $8.50. Because they're beautiful quality. That is stunning too. And on the back, oh, again, some more print and very pretty florals. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at that gorgeous door. Isn't that divine? Beautiful old door. And I've got two of those to use. And on the back, oh, more very, very pretty flowers. Oh, the colours in this are gorgeous. I'm so glad. I, do you know, I almost wasn't going to grab this because I've sort of never really heard of Craft and You designs before. I've never bought any of their products. But I am very glad I bought this now because this is really pretty and incredibly good quality because a lot of the papers are getting thinner and thinner these days. And it's not, that's not good when you want to try and make covers and things. But look at that beautiful window up there. Oh, wow. Well, that was a very good buy. I'm very happy with that. I was very grateful that they still had one of these paper packs left. Honestly, I've wanted to get up to this shop for ages, but they close at 2.30, so it often doesn't work with me and work. I can't get up there on time. Oh, this is a bit hard to open. Let's have a look at this. I have been wanting this for quite a while. Let's open it. Oh, I can get it out. So what have we got here? Calligraphy. Oh, it's done, done like a pad. They're all joined together. Well, that's okay. Oh, my gosh. Have a look at this. So we've got all these gorgeous labels to cut out. And then have a look at these gorgeous pens. Honestly, I think I want 20 sheets of this. But they didn't have any of these things in single sheets. They only had paper packs. But that's okay. At least I got one. Oh, my gosh. I just adore that. That is so fabulous. Then here we've got a, a just some alphabets and words. I like that. Oh, look at this. The alphabet in a couple of different fonts. That almost looks like a blackboard. Oh, I'm in a beautiful cut apart sheet with sort of all sorts of different size pieces. Oh, I love that. Again, great backgrounds. Oh, look at these. How fabulous will these be in a journal? Oh, I just love this. Oh, I'm so glad I got it. Oh, I love the backs too, though. Uh-oh, here we go. The dilemma again. More calligraphy, different writing styles, beautiful ink pot. Oh, my gosh. This really is, oh, dear. That's gorgeous too. Then have a look at all these. This is the alphabet and some numbers. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. All those gorgeous things you can cut apart. But how can you do that then? Oh, and then you have to give up on the letters. Oh, dear. That's tough. Oh, be more beautiful pins. Oh, my gosh. This is just stunning. More letters. Oh, look at this. Oh, that panel is fabulous, but it's so big. Don't quite know how I'm going to use that, but I absolutely love it. 
just all sorts of amazing penmanship. Oh, look at this. Oh, this really is fabulous. That's a great sheet too. Fabulous cutter parts. Oh, look at that fabulous envelope that that will make. And some tags. I love that. Oh, more pens, more nibs, more ink. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I am so glad I got that. That was oh, the one thing I was hoping I would get today. Then the next thing I did, I grabbed this Minte. This is called Next Trip. So this is just the small 6x6 six six paper pad. But again, everything is double-sided, so that's going to cause me drama again. But have a look at the beautiful colours in this. It's just stunning. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, they're not the same. Oh, I thought I might have been getting two of everything. Oh, actually, I'm, I do. Everything's doubled, so I can use the backs as well. Oh, that's handy. So beautiful travel things. The most stunning colours. Honestly, wouldn't matter where you go in the world. You could definitely use these papers for creating a journal and doing journal pages. Oh, look at these gorgeous little mini cutter parts. How cute are they? They're little mini ones. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I might get... Oh, it looks as though I might get three or four of... Oh, that is fabulous. I actually don't mind that. You seem to get lots of the same one or very similar, which is great because then you don't feel sad about using them because you have lots to pick from. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I am very glad I snappled that. That is fabulous. Then I also finally got one of these Minte Cut Apart books. Every time I have gone up there, because I see on Facebook that new stock has arrived, they're always sold out. But I managed, there were, this was the lucky last one of these, and this is what they call the summer edition. And it is just a book full of cutter parts. Have a look at these gorgeous watercolour florals. Oh, boy. And with spring and summer about to land upon... Oh, look at those beautiful leaves. And, of course, yes, we have spring and summer on the way. So I decided, oh, I was so happy when I got this. And, again, you get more than one of each sheet. So you can go to town with that. So do you get three? You must... Yes, you do. You get three of each sheet or four of each sheet, actually. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that's fabulous. I do like having more than one of each. So there we go. So that is absolutely beautiful. It is quite thick, this paper. That is definitely a heavier cardstock too. But uh, yes, a little bit of fussy cutting definitely required. Then I got these gorgeous silk ribbons. Loved those colours. That's one of the few places I found where I could actually purchase silk ribbon so I got that I've been after one of these for a while while too this is the um, collage paper by Tim Holtz I got the typography one and it's four four and a half five and a half meters worth I'm not going to completely undo it but it's you just tear it apart cut it apart and use it as backgrounds and it's a very fine almost like a tissue paper so I was glad they had one of those in stock because it's just been so hard the last year or so stocks just not arriving in this country I'll pop that down there for now um I have been after a brown distress ink forever and honestly again no stock's been coming in, and I couldn't get vintage paper, which is the one I wanted, but they did have this one, and it's brushed corduroy, and it is definitely a brown colour. Um, I, I just want to use it to, to with stenciling or around the edges of pages, just to age things a little bit sometimes, so at least I finally have a brown one. Then I have a lot of acrylic paint, and honestly... I was prepared to go and buy 20,000 things of paint today, and I went, Nikki, let, let's be real. You just can't use that many. But I didn't have a cream colour paint, which is ridiculous. So I managed to find this one, and it's called Vanilla Custard, and it's just a fabulous cream. So now I've got one of those. And then lucky last, 
I find, again, been waiting to get one of these for ages. This is the Versa Magic Black, but it's a chalk ink. And the reason why I was after this, I have thousands of stamps and I want to use them in my Stalogy and my Hobonichi and a lot of other inks. They bleed through and or you can see the ghosting really badly. So apparently the Versa Magic chalk ink is the perfect choice for those types of papers. So I finally found the black one and this was the last one that they had in stock. So I'm so happy that I managed to get that. So I have got so many fabulous new goodies to play with. I am very sad they are closing down, but I am also very lucky. I do have another shop that's only just a little bit further away um, and they um, are definitely still in business and I presume will be staying that way. So I won't miss out completely, but I hope you enjoyed this um, little show and tell of new goodies that I have to play with. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you joined the family. Paper crafting and paper planning are the things I love to share. So please jump on board if you haven't already. Bye for now.